Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Now, although I'm treating this as a bit of a game, it's actually very serious. But um, I'm going to link some articles down in the description. First of all, if you're going to join in with this, you're going to need a lot of spare time, and you might need a dictionary, and you will need some headache tablets. <laughs> and as you start, if the subject matter isn't of interest to you, bail out at the beginning. Don't try and make it to the end. Okay, so this so, is so sort of some little sort of tests or quizzes or whatever you like. But um, the first test really is to resist the urge to read all the articles on this website. <laughs> test number one. <laughs> test number two is read through the first article. You might need to do it twice. Don't go mad and try and read it and take it all in at once. Just go through and maybe even a bit at a time. Um, the first thing you'll probably find is it's one of the best articles on the subject you've ever read, for a start. Okay, And then we go on to uh, what will be test number three, is read the second article. Um, and as you get sort of through that, you'll realise that the two articles are quite closely related. That's the important bit. And then, when you've read the two articles, step backwards and have a think. Why I might have some nutrient deficiencies through the heat wave. It's in there. The answer's not in one article, it's a combination of the two. What do you think that heat did to my plants? One word beginning with S will sum it up. Yeah? Now find the bit that you think, the element that you think is the single most important factor that plants are going to need more of and take more in due to that type of stress. Yeah? Then have a look and find out that if a plant takes in too much of that, what does it do? Like I said, these elements are all balanced and my feed is a nice balanced fertiliser under normal conditions. Yeah? If you can get to the end of this, <laughs> first of all, You've got too much time on your hands. <laughs> but if it's of interest, go for it. Um, if it's not, just, just, just forget it. Move on to the next video or whatever, you know. But um, yeah, I found these interesting reads. Um, and I have had a look through an awful lot of the articles which are of no interest for me, uh, to me whatsoever. But these two just stuck out as um, being very relevant to me growing my orchids in here. Um, filled in a few holes in my knowledge, um, confirmed some others. That's always nice, you know, when, especially when you're looking stuff up, on the, stuff up on the flipping internet. You read one article and think that's great, and then read another one and it tells you the complete opposite. And then you've got to find lots more to find out, you know, what the average of the information is. All good fun if you enjoy that sort of thing. Um, anyway... Uh, you may or may not get to the end, you may not even finish the articles, you may not understand the articles. I'm just putting them up there for interest's sake. Um, as I said, if the subject matter doesn't interest you at all, then um, you'll, you won't get far reading the articles, basically. If you are interested, you'll get buried in there. But don't forget, you'll probably need some headache tablets somewhere along the line. <laughs> Maybe a box full, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, have some fun, if, if you can call that sort of thing fun. I've treated the whole thing as fun. Because it is. Because if I didn't, if I'd never seen any of those articles and didn't know anything about any of that, I still don't believe all my orchids would die. This is the bit I'd like to get across, is that if you're using a reasonable fertiliser, and your plants are staying hydrated when they need to be, and those that need to dry off are drying off, they're probably going to do okay, whatever. It's not a big deal. But for those who like to get that finer bit of detail, and the understanding behind it, you know, then, then you will put the effort in and do the work. 
um, it's not necessary. And don't get me wrong on this, it's not necessary using a well-balanced fertilizer with media that hasn't broken down or inorganic media and your plants should do okay. You know, given the right temperatures, right light levels, not staying dry too long, not soggy wet feet, all that sort of stuff, just the general stuff will be enough. But if you like to go into it in more detail, it's there if you want it. See you next time.